Hi Booktube, Lynette here and in this video I'm going to do a bit of a catch up on the goals I set myself at the beginning of 2021. Uh, so I set myself goals for the year to try and achieve with my reading. Um, whether I stick to them or not, I'm, I'm not, I don't keep an eye on them as the year goes on. Um, when I did research for this video, that's the first time I actually looked back at the goals. Um, so other than the number of books I've been reading, I don't really take any notice of what the goals were. Um, so I'm just hoping that actually I've managed to achieve something uh, over the course of the last six months. I am filming this right at the very end of June, so this should be pretty much as up to date as it could possibly be. So, as always, my first goal is uh, the number of books I want to read. I set that as 48 books for the year, and as of two days ago, I finished 52. So, not only have I completed my goal, I am ahead now. Um, I'm not going to change my goal for the year. I'm going to leave it at 48 books because I'm going to see just how far past 48 books I can get. A good year for me. Um, in past years, I've read in excess of 130 books. I don't think I'm going to get that far. Um, I would just like to maybe hit, maybe double my target um, for the year. So let's uh, let's see if I can get to 96 books this year. And yes, that was me trying to do very quick mental maths. I'm not very good at maths. Uh, plenty of people will tell you that. Um, so yes, first goal. Excellent. I've actually managed to achieve that. So my second goal was to continue with the in-depth read-along that I started back at the beginning of 2020. And that is to read one of the in-depth books a month. Um, and if there's a novella, um, then read the two books, um, read a novella as well as the main book. I have been doing that. I've been keeping up to date. As of June, I've read um, up to book 18 in the series, including all the novellas. However, I am, this was one of my concerns when I started this read, read along. There are in excess of six, including all the novellas, there are in excess of 60 books in this series. And she, the author, J.D. Robb, releases a couple of books in this series a year. So I was very concerned that I was going to burn out on the series. And I must admit, when I read June's book, I was glad to get it over with. Um... I I am starting to feel a little bit like I've had enough of the series. So I'm thinking I might take a break for a few months. I'm not sure how many months I'll take a break for. I'm definitely not going to read one in July, but I will just see how I go. But so far, yes, I have kept up with the series and managed to read one a month. And the next goal I set myself was to keep up with my book club that I joined in the middle of last year. Uh, this is the Just One More Page book club. If you've watched any of my wrap ups or TBRs, then you will have heard me talk about uh, Jess McGlynn and the book club that she started last year, Just One More Page. I have been keeping up with the book club. Um, I've missed, I think I've missed a couple of meetings, maybe one. Um, I did miss one book out and that was the March book, which was Where the Crawdads Sing um, by Delia Owens. And I didn't read it because I only read it in December last year and then I missed the um, the book club meeting anyway. But other than that, I have been reading all the books. I've enjoyed all the books. Um, I'm really enjoying the fact that Jess picks lots of different styles, lots of different genres. Um, and that she's open to suggestions on how those uh, books should be picked because for July's book we have gone a completely different route for picking the book um, and we are, I'm enjoying them, I've enjoyed most of them um, none of them have been five star reads but I have, other than that one book that was a reread I have read the five of the six books set for this year and then my next goal was to use a randomizer wheel to pick two books from my TBR every month, my existing TBR every month, uh, to try and encourage me to read more of the books that I own instead of buying more books because I am very bad at doing that. And I have been doing it. Um, so I actually have been holding myself accountable. I film the um, randomizer wheel running every month and I put it up as part of my TBR videos so if you've been following my channel then you will know that I have done it every month 
I think I may have missed one book. I think I need to go back to May's um, video and check it out because I think I actually picked three books in May and I only read two of the ones on the wheel. However, um, I haven't yet put up my July TBR yet, but I have an idea of what I'm doing for July. So I'm thinking uh, I might catch it up then. Um, I'm finding the randomised wheel hard to manage. I have between five and 600 unread books and I loaded, apart from um, series where I've got a huge amount in series, so like the Wheel of Time series where there's 14 books and I think at the time that I set the wheel up I had only read three of them. Um, I've only loaded the next book in the series that I need to read but again there's still that still means that I've got up to 500 books on the randomised wheel and I'm finding it very hard to manage. I haven't had any duplicate spins come out yet um, but I am struggling to maintain the wheel and uh, delete things off and I am getting concerned that I'm going to start getting even though you know I haven't read that many I've only read um what 12 books um from the wheel um I'm starting to think that I might mm, I might have to rethink the wheel and maybe set something slightly different up instead um it's still a consideration it's probably not something I'm going to decide upon now I'll probably keep it going because I've changed my reading plans for July I'll probably keep it going for the rest of this year and maybe rethink something new for 2022. Book buying ban. I put myself on a book buying ban. I was only allowed to buy books if I was picking up the next book in a series. I failed. I really failed. I was doing really well to start with. January, February, March. Didn't buy any books. April. Didn't really buy any books. Only bought the book club pick. Only bought my in-death pick yeah yeah then may and june hit and um i need to hang my head in shame because i have spent far too much money in the last two months on books um there is one book haul up already on the channel i don't know if the when this is going up if the other one um, I'm certainly filming it uh, very very shortly so I think this video is going to go up first but there is another book haul to come um, so yes comment on the, that video shame me because I deserve all of the shame um, that I'm putting on myself uh, but yes I failed my book buying ban I'm sorry and then I set myself a goal for my channel and I aimed to upload three videos a month and I've smashed that channel goal as well. Um, I'm doing really, really well with finding ideas for videos. They're not, they're not the most, they're not the most um, creative of ideas. They're the ideas that majority of booktubers put out. So talking about favourite books, doing book tags. But I am managing to put up a video just about every single week. I did some bulk filming back at the beginning of the year for a load of book tags um, that I'd found and wanted to do. Um, so I'd filmed a load of them and I've just been editing them as I go and uploading them on a schedule and I've been doing my wrap up and I've been doing my TBR and then I've just been finding other topics to talk about. So I've done a um, kind of like mini series on my favourites. So I did my favourite romance authors, favourite childhood books, favourite Stephen King books. I've got a couple of other authors that I'm thinking might, I might do a favourites by. Um, I might go more in depth into the romance side of it um, and I know there's definitely a thriller writer that I want to talk about his books that I've enjoyed so yes I am I am thinking um I did make it I did have a bit of a fail I had a whole plan for a series of books based around uh, a series of videos based around the star ratings on the books that I have on my TBR so lowest rated highest rated shortest number of pages longest number of pages um i deleted my goodreads account if you check the um information box down below i have started using a different app for tracking the books i own and tracking my reading basically like everybody else i'm a little bit meh with goodreads it doesn't change there's no innovation to it um they don't listen to people who want to give them feedback on things we want to see 
um, they don't allow you to use half stars for rating and I just I'd had enough and then I kept seeing um, this app around called Storygraph and then um, a woman called uh, I can't remember her name but her channel on Instagram she's actually on Instagram um, and she has a, a blog it's called the Espresso Edition and she was really picking up an app called the Storygraph and I had actually downloaded the Storygraph and I decided to go more in depth into it and I transferred all of my Goodreads books across to the Storygraph and then I deleted my Goodreads account. The Storygraph doesn't allow you to sort your books by the ratings that they've got, the average ratings that they've got, because they are trying to encourage people away from picking their books by the um, the average rating. Uh, so they want you to try, they instead ask you to put the sort of mood um, that you think the book falls under. So it's asking you to do that instead. So yeah, so a bit of a fail. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do second half of the year. I'm thinking I might have to do some bulk tag filming again because um, I'm really enjoying getting a video up every week and I'm enjoying the consistency of it and I'm just having so much fun. I'm managing to, um, it's not work-life balance because this isn't a job. Booktube is a hobby for me. Um, but I'm managing to balance it out so that I'm trying to um, film my wrap-ups and TBRs pretty much on the same day if I can and then if I've got other videos pre-filmed I'm then trying to edit them all in one weekend and upload them and have them set on a schedule to go live so that I'm not thinking about it every weekend and then the rest of the month the weekends are mine to do what I want with and I'm not consumed with editing and I have more time for reading so I'm really enjoying actually being more present on booktube so those were the goals for the year, the goals wrap up um, for halfway through the year and apart from the book buying ban I have to say I have done excellent. I'm hoping that it all continues really well. Like I say I can't really go much further with the um, books read, uh, number of books read for the year because I've I've smashed my target. Um, so again it is just see how many books past the target I can get. I'm hoping to continue with my channel goals. Um, to continue to upload once a week if possible um, and I need to improve on my book buying ban I really need to improve on that so we will see what happens over the next six months and I will do a full-on wrap-up at the end of the year if you've enjoyed this video then please don't forget to like and subscribe I upload videos every Monday at 6 30 p.m in the UK time and I will see you all next time. Bye.